welcome back to MTG Basics. We got a little something special for you this week as part of our In Modern series. Today, I will be presenting a literary discourse on how the 2008 financial crisis manufactured the necessary conditions for Ragavan to dominate the modern landscape. In this video essay, I will, wait, what? Oh, we're not doing that? No, oh, okay. All right, so today actually I'll be giving a quick TED talk, or should I say a Timmy talk, on a pretty well-known deck in modern, Mono Green Tron. And this is your MTG Basics Modern Primer. So why do you want to play Tron? So I bet you have some familiar if you heard of certain phrases surrounding Tron, such as what rhymes with truck Tron. Um, so you're Timmy, right? You want to play big green creatures, big planeswalkers, um, and just play, you know, slam down huge threats. Uh, good news for you, or I guess bad news for you, is that your creatures may not always be green, but good news is that you do get big creatures. So this is a basic primer. It's for those that are new to modern but have some, you know, experience, some exposure to the format. They know what Tron is at a base level, and we'll go over basic lines of play. And this isn't really directed towards the more experienced Tron veterans, but if there's any of you out there, feel free to maybe leave comments in the uh, video showing advice or more advanced lines of play or perhaps even nuances or complications surrounding the things we'll present here in this video. So if you want to learn to play Tron, I'm going to teach you how to count. So let's all together. First we go one, then two, then seven. So with the Tron lands, we can see between the three of them, Urza's Mine, PowerPoint, and Tower, we see that if we control all of them, instead of tapping for one mana, we tap for two or three mana, giving us seven mana by turn three, thus the Tron deck. Um, so what do the turns look like with this kind of counting? So turn one, we ideally have one land, and we play the Expedition Map, right? So we can see that turn two, if we play another Tron land, we have two of our three Tron pieces, and we can then use two um, mana generated from the two Tron lands we have to search for the third one that we need. So in this case, we need the tower, but if you're missing one or the other, you go get the one you're missing. And with that, by turn three, we have that seven mana. And this is one line. This is the most simple, uh, almost straightforward line of play, but another way we can have seven mana turn three, we have our Tron land. We play our chromatic sphere or star. And then we have the second land either drawn or in our hand. I mean, why wouldn't we? And with that, we can use the ability of chromatic sphere or star, which lets us sacrifice the artifact and add one mana of color of any color we want to our mana pool, and then also draw a card as a caveat. Um, with that, we're gonna make green. That's why it's mono green. A Tron, and we use that green to eat a Sylvan Scrying to definitely hit our missing land, or we Ancient Stowing look at the top five, which most of the time we do hit that missing land. And that's how, again, we have turn three, seven mana. So what are we doing then on turn three? Well, we are timming it up. We are casting our big creatures. So here we have one core engines, or our big planeswalker, Con Levicated, or with a more recent addition, well, relatively recent, we can use our Con Creator, and we'll notice that our sidebox is a sideboard, is a wish package, so we can grab any of those artifacts we may like, and might as well cast them too, right, with seven mana. All right, just to reiterate, on turn three, we are most likely casting one of these spells, uh, our Warm Coil Engine, which is just a big creature, Con Liberated, which deals with the hand and board, and con the great creator which can deal with more specific niche situations turn four we ideally play another land so in that case our mana our ability to generate mana uh goes up to nine or ten mana so we can use that to cast ugin the spirit dragon or ulamog both doing very strong effects uh, so, so one thing about tron is that you can mulligan very well and you should aggressively mulligan to make sure that you you know, play Tron, right? Um, so just to quickly go over that, our hand needs really two parts. As other hands, but specifically in Tron, we need a way to get our Tron land, so we can either have natural Tron, which is just 
drawing the Tron lands in our hand naturally, or we can have two Tron lands in Expedition Map, which is pretty much the equivalent as Natural Tron, uh, or we can do the line we mentioned earlier that gets us that third Tron land. And with all that, this can take us three to four cards. Uh, the second part is threat. So we want to do something with all that mana. It's not, there's no point in making all that mana if we're not doing anything. So again, the second part in Sculpting a Hand is having a threat. And of course, more is better, higher card, higher card advantage is better. But if we can just make Tron and play one card, usually with Tron, that one card has a very strong effect where it can stabilize, letting you live longer and draw into more high end threats. Or we can play a Haymaker, which Khan the Great Cater's great at where you can just grab that one card that you need for the matchup and completely just shut your opponent out. Uh, so what the future of Tron looks like? Well with Tron, Wizards is always going to print big artifacts, big green creatures or big uh, greener color spells. Even more recently we have the city scape level that's been showing up in Tron decks and in the past we've seen some interesting you know color spells that you can play in Tron, or at least try out Tron, such as Mystic Force. So there's always going to be some um, renewal or some changes that you can expect to shake up your Tron deck. And there's also the Companion, if you want. Uh, that's all I have for you guys for this Modern Primer. Make sure you like, comment, and if you have any, you know, things you want to say about Tron in the comments, leave them down below. Thank you.